All right, if you've been looking at Northwest Arkansas, we have a perfect little secret neighborhoods in Tawny Town, Springdale, Arkansas. If you look on the map, you probably don't even see it. The name is actually Tonti, named after Henry de Tonti, T-O-N-T-I, but I'll call it Tiny Town. That's just a joke, but it is a tiny town. So there's only 2,400, 2,500 people in Tiny Town, Tonti Town, but it actually is just on the outskirts of uh, West Springdale. And it's a short hop down to the freeway. So there's, you know, everything you could want within the area while having the small town feel here still not even a real downtown. You're looking at the city park uh, here. There's a couple tennis courts, uh, some playground equipment, uh, police station, fire station right here, city hall. Um, and there's not a whole lot to do or see in Tiny Town. A few good restaurants. I think I mentioned in another video, one of our favorites is Red Door, uh, which is right down the street here. Great barbecue place. If you're in town, give her a shot. Um, but love Tiny Town. I own a home here now and I'm building a home on five acres here also. Uh, that's how much we like the area. And again, it's just a short hop to anything that you would wanna do uh, without uh, being in the throes of living inside a city. Yeah, and it has great access to all the, the, the best Springdale schools and uh, the west side of Springdale. And you are, like he said, you're, you're, you're uh, 20 minutes from Siloam Springs. You're five, 10 minutes away from the highway. You got Sam's Club, you got all the grocery shopping you want. If you want to get down to the Fayetteville Mall, you're 15 minutes away from there. Uh, you take some back roads and you're in, you're in Fayetteville. Uh, great options for Tawny Town and can't, can't talk too well about it. <laughs> can't talk uh, well enough about it. There you go. Um, you know, like Brent said when we first started, uh, hidden secret, because it really doesn't show up. It's not big enough to show up. Once you get out of right here off the 412 corridor, um, it's farmland. So uh, if you go out that way, there's, you know, a thousand head of cattle. Uh, so uh, you don't have any of the big city stuff. You don't have a lot of the big city problems. You just have some nice new construction communities and we're gonna highlight some of those here today. Yeah, and you're also not too far away if you head a little bit towards Salem Springs. You're right in the Ozark National Forest. And one more thing that's a great one that we're gonna, we're, we'll point out on the way by is, there's actually a winery, the Tawny Town Winery is here. And uh, so on Friday, Saturday nights, they have live music, um, they have wine. Uh, so can't go wrong, uh, live music and wine, uh, good time uh, can be had by all. Also the Tawny Town uh, Wine Festival, so they, they'll bring in a carnival, Woo. food trucks, all it's the- big deal all the fun stuff. It's a great time for family and they do a spaghetti and fried chicken feed for <laughs> everybody. You pay like 10, 12 bucks. And uh, that's two different dishes. You don't yeah. get them both on the same plate. Yeah, the, they do, I, I'd take it. You yeah, know? Uh, but they do it. And there's a local restaurant here that that's what they specialize yeah, in. Yeah. It's a landmark. Uh, it's been here over a hundred years. Amazingly, the size of the fair uh, is, is just blows me away because this little town hosts this giant fair and it's here for, I, I wanna say it's here for four or five days uh, when it comes uh, and can't remember what month it comes in, but maybe we'll do a video on the fair next time it comes. Yeah, we'll just yeah. show you around. Show you around. Hey, hey, hey there, Alan and Brent here, Living in Arkansas team. And we're here today to show you a little area that I love. Um, I actually live in this area um, and am and I'm also building. Uh, those of you that are watching my build on YouTube, um, we're building in Tawny Town. Uh, so this is a little town that is just outside of Springdale, on the edge of Springdale, on the west side, between Springdale and Siloam. And we're driving through a wonderful neighborhood today. Um, that neighborhood uh, is called Westbrook. And um, the houses in this neighborhood, very consistently, most of them are three car garage, say 2,200 and up square feet. Uh, they're running in the, the, you know, late 300s, mid 400s, uh, as far as houses go here. Um, what are some other things about Tawny Town that you love, Brent? Yeah, so um, 
Monty Town is easily accessible by a lot of uh, just the location of it. You can get to places really quickly. Uh, you have all the services you need, great shopping, great schools. Um, you have really good uh, services, you know, public services. And the houses out here are typically newer. They're going to be, uh, there's not a whole lot, whole lot of old neighborhoods like downtown Springdale might be. You know, that's, there's going to be in the 50s and 40s and 60s. You know, over here, they're going to be less than 10 years old because a lot of expansion is coming this way. And so there's a bunch of brand new houses like this neighborhood in Westbrook that we're rolling through is less than three years old. And there's uh, at least 80 houses in here. Um, and there's pocket neighborhoods like this in all of all over Tawny Town and Springdale that are popping up and this is you know why you got to reach out to us and so that we can get you into these one of these neighborhoods that are going to fit your lifestyle and your uh, family's needs and this neighborhood in, in highlight is right next to a brand new school of innovation in West Springdale Tawny Town area and uh, I think it's Jim Rollins uh, well, Rollins School. Yeah. yeah. Um, what an amazing school. Uh, my wife and I got to tour the school um, a few weeks back and neat concept. So what they've done there is, as I understand it, Walmart uh, has funded that school and the way they did it was they sent a search committee out all over the world and they looked at the best kind of learning environments uh, around the world and picked the best. and. Uh, they hand selected teachers uh, to teach uh, at Rollins, um, and it's an elementary school. Uh, but when you go inside, the the learning environment is completely open. So there's it's not a lot of walled off classrooms. It's wide open spaces. Uh, the children are incentivized to learn and giving given uh, freedom to learn in ways that work for them uh, when they um, excel and show that uh, they are, are a fit uh, in that learning model. So really some neat uh, concepts. And uh, you know, when you see us drive past the school here, you'll notice that the, the building is brand new. That's because the school has just opened and, and frankly is not even at uh, full capacity yet. That's why it looks new. So we got that going for us. Um, it, it, you know, another thing with Tiny Town, it is a small town, there's, there's nothing uh, commercial here. Um, it is a suburb of Springdale and so you do all your shopping in Springdale or Siloam or it's just a, literally a five minute hop onto I-49 to go south uh, to Fayetteville or north to Bentonville. So a wonderful place to be. The schools are great um, and like Brent mentioned I mean the the number of new construction homes that are coming up. So if you're looking for more of that new construction um, we've got some great things going on in Tawny Town, and we would love to uh, show you around. Just give us a call, and we would talk more about uh, you know what your needs are for your family, and how uh, it fits or doesn't fit in this area, and then we would uh, be able to steer you in the right direction. So one more thing about Tawny Town is the uh, there are this is where the John Deere tractor supply is this is where there's a whole bunch of f feed and farm stores so it's a very rural part of uh, agricultural part of uh, Springdale and Tawny Town area and that is uh, just a reminiscent of that's what you're gonna find here is you're gonna find you go a little bit further out of town you got properties that are 5 10 20 acre parcels big houses big farms uh, maybe horse properties cattle uh, and that's what you're gonna find in Tawny Town. Alan, tell me what do you like about Tawny Town? What what in what, what's one thing that you like about Tawny Town? Well, I mean, I like the the small townness of it, uh, in that it's not uh, you know overrun with people. It's not crowded. Uh, now that said, that brings me up to a negative about Tawny Town, um, because the main thoroughfare through Tawny Town is Highway 412. Um, that sucker is pretty busy. I mean, it is the main interchange between I-49 and Tulsa, and it's how most people would get to Tulsa. So from uh, Springdale, Tiny Town area, you're probably, how long do you think it takes to get to Tulsa? 
Oh, hour and 40? Hour 40, hour 45. Um, so, you know, plus not a lot of uh, crowdedness. Minus is that it uh, actually has a lot of traffic driving through town. Um, there's my thoughts on pluses and minuses. You got any? Yeah, so I love Tony Town for being rural and you can get a larger um, lot and house in Tony Town and you can just find a nice little farm and it's you're you're out in the you have space and you have uh, but you have the ability to get space. Yeah. yeah, and you do have the connectivity to the the uh, the highway so you're going to get somewhere quick. But as Alan was saying, the the traffic in off of 412 can be a little bit slow especially headed towards the interstate heading north and south eventually they're going to make another little bypass that gets you up to the interstate quicker but it's not there yet it's probably another five ten years away and so that's my negative is just accessibility getting to the highway so you can get to bentonville or get to south fayetteville mm -hmm. real quick it can it can take you uh probably five to ten minutes longer than you expect depending on when Time of day. Uh, what time of day it is and how the traffic pattern is so so this neighborhood is uh, in Springdale on the west side of Springdale um, it's called Tuscany and uh, wonderful neighborhood it's been here uh, a little while now I'm gonna say um, seven years or so um, nice quality homes a good mix of two and three car garage homes there are really some larger homes here as well, uh, kind of intermixed. So uh, as far as neighborhood uh, makeup goes, uh, a lot of good uh, mingling of larger and medium sized homes. All right, we are in Tuscany neighborhood. And as Alan was saying, there's these are gonna be 2,000 square feet and above, all the way up to 4,000, maybe a little bit bigger. There's a lot of uh, above garage rooms, so there's probably a lot of bonus rooms in these in this neighborhood. Four bedroom plus uh, is what we're gonna see. And then they do have a community pool. And the nice thing about this neighborhood, if you have somebody in high school, High school is literally literally next door. That'd two be... football fields over there. You can see the football field, <laughs> and uh, it, they they are in within walking distance uh, if they need be. And there's also a middle school and a junior high right here as well, um, in the same vicinity. And then you are moments away from a Harps grocery store, a whole bunch of restaurants, grocery stores, uh, different little shoppings. And You're about five to seven minutes from a Walmart. Uh, I know coming from, uh, if you're coming from out of area, uh, that may not seem like a big deal, but uh, Walmart's what we have here in abundance. And uh, happy to have you, Walmart. Love you, Walmart. Um, so uh, come get the best deals at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> that or Sam's Club is right there by the highway. I mean, you're eight, 10 minutes away from the highway or less, depending on how much traffic there is. Yeah. Uh, now, one thing I would say about we're just north. I mean, we're right off of 412. Um, we're right off of 412, and the traffic is a little bit busier on 412 because that's truck traffic headed to uh, Tulsa, Asylum Springs area. And, and if you're in this neighborhood, feel free to stop by this house. Um, it belongs to my buddy Gary, and uh, they always are very welcoming. Tell him that I sent you. Just joking, but uh, they are very welcoming, great people. Um, here, a few doors down from his house, is the community pool um, and right. playground, so that you can see they're kind of working on that today. Clubhouse, uh, very nice neighborhood. It's got some great amenities to it, and uh, really lights up in the summertime when uh, all the people are at the pool. So, good times. So we mentioned that there's a lot of development going on in the Tonti Town area. And uh, just to drive through and show you some of the construction here. Um, currently in this neighborhood, there are 172, I believe, homes under construction. And that's not even uh, counting all this raw land that you see that has the meters up already and that sort. I'm just talking about as you look ahead 
where we're driving into the neighborhood itself, houses that are actually under construction and in framing uh, 172. Um, but there's some pretty nice homes here. These are starter homes in this neighborhood specifically. Um, more on the um, low to mid 200s uh, range as far as pricing goes. Uh, coming in around, uh, some are starting at 1,600 square feet. Um, there's a lot of things to, uh, as far as new construction goes here, um, seem to be brick homes, um, some with three car garages. Um, they do range up to 1,800 feet, but for the most part, uh, I'd say on average that they are uh, in the 13, uh, or excuse me, 14 to 16 hundred range with a few 18s along the way and as you can see they're just going to town building 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 in tiny town we think it's a great place and it's really uh, one of Northwest Arkansas's hidden secrets um, as we say if you want to get with all of the the little hidden secrets and the neighborhoods that you just might not find out about otherwise um, give us a call by the way none of these houses are listed on the MLS so to know where this is at uh, and to have access to it uh, you need to give us a call so we can talk further find out what your needs are and see if this neighborhood's a fit for you um, but uh, by all means like we say reach out and we'll be glad to help you figure out the best area for you whether it's tiny town or somewhere else in northwest arkansas so we're now in the south point neighborhood um pretty nice neighborhood homes are running uh, from 1800 square feet up uh, from there because that's the minimum for this neighborhood uh, some of these homes here in this newer section by this builder are two car garage homes for the most part uh, phase one um, and phase three which hasn't even started yet um, have three car uh, garages as far as that goes if that's something of interest to you um, but there are a lot of nice homes in here uh, decent sized lots for a neighborhood and uh, we are still in Tawny Town, but we're out in the outskirts, even a little bit further from downtown Tiny Town. If you could even say there's a downtown Tiny, Tiny Town, so uh, there's really not a whole lot uh, going on in Tiny Town socially. There's a few uh, little restaurants, great barbecue place uh, called Red Door that we like to go to, yeah, and uh, get our fill of uh, pulled pork. Um, but a uh, few other choices. <laughs> yeah, right next to this neighborhood, if you go outside of it, there's dozens and dozens of properties that are, you know, five, 10 acre parcels. Again, small little farms, small little ranches that people are homesteading. Here we are at the Tawny Town Winery, um, and it is hopping on Friday and Saturday night. Um, there's but this whole field off to the left over here will be covered up with cars um, and they do have uh, live bands and wine based drinks um, and beer uh, so if you're into that sort of stuff um, it's a great time great place to uh, go and get your entertainment and uh, enjoy your Friday Saturday nights um, my understanding is they now serve lunch as well uh, so I have not been here for lunch but um, they do have some snacks and stuff on Friday and Saturday night uh, so pretty awesome place uh, we love to come here and just hang out listen to the live music and uh, meet with friends it's always a good time if you're ever hankering for a burrito we've got the burrito king right here and they've got a fantastic burrito so um, always good to check out the Burrito King. If you want more fine dining, we've got uh, Wellington's here on the right. Some wonderful 
uh, stuff. Uh, wonderful food there. Um, we've only eaten there a couple of times. Great little strip mall right here. Uh, you got Harp's Food Store, as well as several uh, eating chains, some local eateries. We've got Buffalo Wild Wings. We've got the local uh, police. Great to deal with. Wonderful people do a great job here in the Springdale area. Uh, got your uh, local car wash here. They have a great deal. 30 uh, or $25 a month. Uh, you can have unlimited washes if you're into needing car washes. Um, as you can see, some of the area is still undeveloped. So uh, acres and acres of uh, raw land and cows uh, right here. And we're just off the freeway. Uh, plenty of room for development in this area. Um, as Brent mentioned previously, you'll see some of the um, some of the things like a lot of tractor dealerships here and RV dealerships. So you still you're still out in the in the country uh, per se. Um, we are coming up on the interstate right up here. Um, there's a brand new Chick Fil A that's being built um, just the other side of it. There's a brand new Burger King being built. Um, and then we've got uh, Sam's Club right over here uh, on our right, right before we get to the freeway. Uh, so very accessible and very easy to um, get on the freeway. So one thing of note is a block that way, about a half mile south uh, of the Springdale 412 exit is the Arkansas Children's Hospital. Uh, great, fantastic facility. And then just north, about a mile, is a Mer brand new Mercy emergency room and hospital. Great care that you're gonna get from there. Uh, also, uh, the right down the road here is the uh, Natural Stadium where the um, Arkansas Naturals play. That's our minor league ball team that feeds the uh, Kansas City Royals. Uh, it's their farm league team um, that uh, is our semi-pro team uh, here uh, locally. Uh, nice ball stadium. Uh, you can still take the family out affordably to the ball game. I think it runs uh, five, six bucks ahead uh, most of the time. And they even have special nights uh, where you can get in for less or get some treat. Dollar uh, hot dog night. Dollar hot dog night. That's one of our That's favorites. That's our favorite. <laughs> so good stuff there. So uh, don't miss this area when you come to Northwest Arkansas. Check out Tiny Town. Um, here's another school. Uh, this school is the elementary school. It's just down the street from the uh, high school and middle school. Um, all these uh, are actually bordering the Harbor neighborhood. Very popular uh, neighborhood. By the way, also right next to Harbor is a uh, small golf course. Brush Creek. Uh, Brush Creek. And it is... Uh, Nice little course. I've played it a number of times. Um, we're now turning into the Harbor neighborhood. One of the things I love about this neighborhood, it's been around a while, so it's well established. It's a variety of si different sized homes. Uh, so there's a great assortment of homes here in the uh, Harbor neighborhood of different sizes and types. One of the things I love about this neighborhood is that they I uh, built a bunch of different style homes so uh, it's not a cookie cutter kind of neighborhood you will see all kinds of different home types and styles um, from country style homes to uh, French provincial style homes uh, you name it and you'll see all the different home styles in here so it gives it a very unique feel um, You'll notice that on uh, these, that there is not uh, a garage entry from the front. Uh, the garages are on um, the alleyways in the back, which gives them uh, easy access. The other neat thing about uh, Harbor is that they have some pretty cool water features. They have several parks, community pool. Um, here actually is the community pool coming up on the right. Um, and there's one of the ponds uh, that is 
spread out throughout this neighborhood. Uh, many portions of it are on ponds. Um, also, uh, community style park. I'd say it's almost like a central park type situation uh, here where you can come walk in the evenings and, and get your exercise in. It's called Founders Park. And uh, get your exercise in as well as um, get your um, pets walked and what have you. Again, just the, the home styles are pretty neat. A bunch of different stuff style-wise. So there's many different way, uh, variations, like Alan was saying. There's, there's lots of different house styles in Harbor um, development. And these are going to be 15, 20 years old. A little bit older, but a lot of them have been updated. It's a very highly desired neighborhood just because it's close to absolutely everything uh, for shopping, schools, all that. And then close to everything in Northwest Arkansas as well. But there's going to be a little bit um, more townhome styles nearby the Founders Park. Then you're getting into a little bit more spread out uh, with all the rear entry garages, houses. And then uh, we're uh, rolling towards a larger area where there's a larger houses, more estates. They're on about an acre um, of land. And these are going to these are just absolutely stunning and a lot of a lot of space and it's a great neighborhood so there's another park there all kinds of as you can see all kinds of space around green space in this community uh, mature trees um, plenty of neat areas to walk around this is a frisbee golf uh, area here so there's some frisbee golf holes a frisbee golf course there you go um, but some beautiful homes here, like Brent said, on higher end homes on uh, pretty good sized lots. A lot of half acre, acre lots uh, through here with some pretty big homes. So we just got done showing you everything there is about Tiny Town and- Not a whole lot, but there's everything. <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of new construction going in. Uh, they're, they're changing some neighborhoods and putting in some really great uh, opportunities for houses and new schools going into uh, Tawny Town, all the restaurants and the great places to, to find. So, yep, yep. Uh, well, we're going to uh, close out for today, but remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. We try to create new content weekly about Northwest Arkansas or other places in Arkansas. And uh, I'm Brent. I'm no, I'm not. I'm Alan. He's I'm Alan. <laughs> and we're, we're the living in Arkansas team. We're someone. <laughs>